Hey guys, it's me, Awesome Person 2, and today I will show you how to complete Rainbow Friends. Before I start playing, let's get to know the characters and see what each one does, as well as learning the controls. So, on a computer, if you want to put your box on, press B on your keyboard. If you want to crouch, press C. It should say how to do these steps on your screen. Let's get into how each character works. Let's start with Blue. Blue is the main character. He appears in every night. Blue randomly walks around the map each night. If he sees you without your box, he will chase you. If he does, you can either run away because he's very slow, or you can run around a corner and put your box on. If you put your box on in front of him though, he knows you're still there and will kill you. If you don't know if he saw you put it on or not, look above your box. If there is a red exclamation mark, he saw you put it on. Do not run behind him without your box on. He will still see you. It's almost like he has 360 vision. It's okay if you get near him or touch him with your box on though. Green. Green appears on the second night. He's also blind. The only way he can catch you is if he touches you. If you get too close to him, you will die. If he touches you while your box is on, you're dead. So stay away from green whenever you can. Orange. Orange appears on the third night. If he comes out, there will be an alarm. Loud stomps and an orange line. The orange line shows where he's running. He runs out of his cave and back. If you are in your box, he won't see you, even if you're on the orange line. He can only kill you if he sees you. There's a way to prevent orange from running out of his cave. If you go over to where the bells are in his cave and walk into the white machine, that will put food in his bowl and that will reset his timer. For your information, if orange is out running, don't try feeding him. It won't help. Only feed him if he's in his cave. Purple. Purple appears on the third night as well. Right after introducing Orange, the mysterious guy who's talking to you throughout the game will question why the vents are leaking. Purple lives in the vents. Sometimes you can hear Purple crawling around. The only time you have to worry about Purple is if you see him. In order to know if you can walk past the vent, and so look and see if Purple's eyes and arms are in the vent. If he is there, do not walk past the vent. He will kill you, even with a box. If he's not there, you're fine. Night 1. During Night 1, you have to find and put back 24 blocks. In order to pick up the blocks, just run into them. When you pick an item up, you can either continue to find more, or put them back in the theater. If you do not know where the theater is, there are blue arrows telling you where to go. They aren't everywhere, but they help. You can only carry a maximum of 10 items at a time in your inventory. To put your items in the theater, you have to run into the table. Now continue to do this until the night is over, and do not get caught by blue. Night 2. Green is now in the game. You have to find 15 bags of food. In order to put your food in the theater, run to the front of the food holders. Each night is the same. Find the items you need to find and put them back in the theater. Besides that, Try to stay away from green, and don't let blue see you. Night 3. Orange and purple are now in the game. Now you have to find 14 lights. Same as the other nights, find them and put them in the theater. Always look to make sure purple isn't in event. There are a lot of them. Night 4. No more characters are added in the game. But the power is out, and you can't see very well. Now you have to find 9 batteries to make the power go back on. Make sure to grab a flashlight in the beginning, Otherwise, you can't see super well. I've, I've done it before, but it's kind of, it's just really dark. Once you grab one, don't use the fancy version. Like, don't use the fancy light. It makes it harder to see. Without the fancy version, you can see everything a little bit better. The fancy version makes it harder to see because now you can only see where you are facing and it tends to lag, like it doesn't follow you very well. Once you find some batteries and want to bring them back to the theater, make sure to run to the front of the generator so the batteries are put away. The ending slash last night. Now you see blue on a stage. Just watch for a red balloon falling. That indicates he only goes after you if you pop a balloon. If someone near you pops a balloon, blue will only go for them, not the person closest to him. Once you get across and up to the cakes, now you just have to wait for the green balloon to fall on a fork and pop, so you can go through the exit door. The exit door you just went through will close behind you, and it will not open up until you move the blocks from under the wood plank. Once you move the blocks, just follow the path in the vent, 
And you don't have to stress out, blue is very slow. The first red light you see in the vent, you want to turn towards it and cross that tiny plank of wood. Then you want to crouch under the planks of wood that are in your way. Then once you see another red light, turn to the left and then you are out. You just completed the game and now you're a veteran one. Every time you win, your veteran number goes up by one. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Sorry if the video seemed a little bit wordy. I also thank my friend Jin here for helping me with the video. If you guys like the video, give me a sub. Bye.